We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we're heading out on a morning walk. I have a bunch of random things to do today and I just need y'all to talk me through it. So I just finished um, posting office hours to our Facebook group for our Patreon fam. I've been trying to um, organize and structure our business and our, the way we share in our social spaces so that it doesn't become a distraction, y'all. <laughs> okay. So having clear cut boundaries and time frames under which I do certain things is really helpful to me. So I just posted office hours for our patron fam um, Facebook group, which is really exciting because I just get to pop over there and talk about regular homeschool life. Uh, meanwhile, on our regular inst on our Instagram and here on YouTube, we're just kind of more so talking about the things we want to get into with making these films and doing this research all about living and learning and the true meaning of education. I'm trying to say that over and over like an elevator pitch so I get more and more comfortable saying exactly what it is that, um, that we're looking to do. So anyway. I gotta go because I already went for a run with Brian this morning, which was really nice. We ran like right in the front of the house to make it easy, you know, for the kids to pop right outside the door and see where we were. But it was just nice to be out in the fresh air with my boo while the kids were getting ready this morning. So I did that already, so I'm a little bit sore, but it's good because we're going to do this whole journey situation together and it's even better than trying to do it alone. So. I did that already. Um, I need to make myself some breakfast. The kids already got breakfast. We're gonna go off for a walk. Today is math day. Today is problem solving day, so I'm excited about that. And I get to talk to my daddy today. Uh, we set up like a FaceTime, a Skype call with my father so that he can chat with them about all things business related. Um, and that's his contribution to our math problem solving day. So we're gonna do that today. I took a picture of my principals to let my patron fam know that they were coming soon. The updates were coming soon. What else, what else? I think that's it, I think that's it. I just wanted to check in with you guys before um, the morning got away from me. So Savannah's gonna show you what is in her book stack. Language arts, I have I think. For my quiet waiting time, I have Pages and Co. The book one. Pages and Co. The Lost Fairy Tales. It's the second book of the series. This book is my weather in 30 seconds. 30 amazing topics for weather with kids explained in half a minute. This is my science book. And this is my history book. Little Leaders Bold. Bold Woman in Black History, my history book. Finally, my math book. The No Nonsense Guide to Measurements, an awesomely fun guide to how things are measured, my math book. Awesome, so that's what's in Vanna Girl's curriculum stack for the week. Language Arts. The Dictionary of Difficult Words. <laughs> so he's been working his way through that. For his journalist slash language art studies, he's been working through the Dictionary of Difficult Words. I just finished this quiet reading. It's a book called Bob. My new quiet reading, The Great Mouse Detective, Basil and the Big Cheese Cook-Off. I just finished this book, Abraham Lincoln. Or was it the life of Abraham Lincoln? Nope, it's the story of Abraham Lincoln. Okay. So that's this your history? Was, yeah, it was, my, it was my history. Right. So you got to pick a new one? And this is my science book, 1,000 Incredible But True Facts About Animals. My math book, Math in 30 Seconds, 30 Fascinating Topics for Math Masterminds Explained in Half a Minute. And that is his stack. Stack. And he likes yeah, to make sure his are organized by size. And now we're on to Cam's curriculum stack. Uh, currently my quiet reading time, the night time. 
Are you enjoying that one so far? Mm -hmm. You'll give me the full recap soon? <laughs> Next up on my TBR is forever or a long, long time. Next up, everything you need to ace, world history, and one video. This one's my favorite. Next up in my stack, everything you need to ace, English language arts, and one big fat book. Everything you need to ace, science. And last but not least, school of numbers. And that's my books. <laughs> Alright, so those are our curriculum stacks. And they're working their way through their math selection. I'm getting out my menu because Bear and I need to meal plan. He's my chef in this house, so why not let him help me meal plan? So, I'm just gonna, they're gonna get in their time reading and then we're gonna move on. What did you say? Do we celebrate Pi Day? We haven't, but we can. So it says three minutes, celebrate pie day with pie. You need a circular pie, string, and a ruler. Pie day is on March 14th because the date is written 314, just like pie. Cut a piece of string to fit exactly around the outside of your pie. Measure the string, measure across the middle of the pie. Divide the length of the string by the diameter of the pie. The answer is pie. Now you can eat. The pie. The pie. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we need to add pie day to our list of um, days to celebrate. I'm just going to go and cuddle up with each one of them while they read and have some conversation. And that's how we're going to get into this here math today. <laughs> Look at this. What? When it comes to describing instead of distancing, we use a unit of measurement called an unit. And A U and A U or astronomical unit. Astronomical and unit? Astronomical unit. unit. Okay. Is the distance from the sun to Earth or, or 92,900 approximate centuries. Mm -hmm. The closest star beyond our sun is over 4.2 light years away from the Earth. Volume in. They put a baby on there. <laughs> After you do that, I am off for you. Zero, one. Fibonacci, born around. 1170. 11, that's a very is long time Pluto ago, huh? Real? Mm -hmm. Yes, Pluto is real, Whoa. but it's officially. Ah, 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 ah. Lesson three. 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 Lesson because now I can actually see my chalk markers. Mm. We're going for a walk. The day is done. It was our, it was our, um, we have recap meetings at the, at the end of the day. We take these walks. Yeah, our morning walks turned into afternoon and evening walks. Well, that's because we got morning runs now. So I made it through day two of Serena's diet. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on keto, folks. I've never done keto. I've actually never be been good. successful with any kind of diet. I run so I can eat what I want. That's how I work. I run simply so I don't have to worry about what, what I eat. And now she has me. I've cut out <laughs> sugar and carbs. And dessert to me is like the best meal. So I don't, I don't know how long it's been since I've actually went through the day without eating a sweet or like a, just a gummy bear. Well, we're turning over a new leaf. Day two of 21. Is it day two or one? Today is two. Today okay, is definitely so two. it's day two. <laughs> okay, we just finished walking, mm -hmm. having a briefing of family life and things. It was a good school day, I think, but I'm tired. I'm 100% tired, so I'm gonna get the rest of my work done and try to get in bed early. He told me to stop touching my hair, but there's always things you and do. You keep touching your hair. I know, I know. There's always things you do when you're on the camera a lot. So if you're not on the camera a lot, that must mean I you wouldn't don't know, know nothing about that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> wouldn't know nothing about it. All right, anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons, so... We live and we learn. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.